Yeah, let's, hope, let's hope that Todd Bowie gets fucking sanctioned before well, then, isn't it? Of, of course, but do, do you know what I mean? If, if success mm. follows, people forget. If success doesn't, it's, mm. well, hang on, that was done badly. And that's that's the fine line in football. If you spend that money, you've got to win things and quick. And um, the problem you've got now in the league for me is, where is it? It's always been for me a, a two-team league, if you know what I mean. At any one time, it was always like Man U and Arsenal going at each other back in the day. Then it was Man U and Chelsea. Then it was Chelsea and Arsenal. Then it was, you know, Man City and Liverpool have had their turn. Now I think you've got more teams bunching up there. I think that will to have to sign players every window is just becoming more and more ridiculous. I, I, I truly believe that. It's, it's becoming ridiculous. Um, I, I don't know. But fans hype it, right? Fans hype it. Like I said, I'd seen Madrid play in the Champions League. I thought it was good. Never mm. never going to sit here and go, he's a £90 million pound player. But mm. in the window now, it then gets to the point where the, the moment your club goes for him, a la Arsenal or Chelsea, fans now have it in their head. That's the target. That's the one player we want. Yeah. Arsenal did it with Casado. Like, you're telling me, Rance, if me and you went around the world, right, for a month, let's say we, we got given enough money to go around the world for a month, watch games in every country, right? You're telling me we can't find a better midfielder than Casado for 80 million? Of course you can. Man, just go, right. I just go France, bro. I, I just watch right. Match of the Day in French, Brad. You know what I mean? I'll find one. Yep. You know that? Like that. And this, this, is, this is the thing. This is it. But fans get a name in their head. I, I'm a big fan of... Um, like I always said, Spurs, would I love a Vardy, and a Bastoni, all these names for centre-half? Yeah. But it's not realistic. What I would love is I, I want to find a gem. I want to find mm. a centre-half that comes in and you go, Jesus, where did you find that guy? You know, um, I, you know, I want a, a solid pro that's been there, seen it, done it. But mm. everyone now wants glitter and glam. And, and unfortunately, that's the era we live in. No, a hundred percent. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't agree more. So, I don't know, man. We just have to. We just have to see how the game's evolving. But, bruv, City. <laughs> yeah, they're in trouble, bruv. Yeah, you know, like that. They're in a lot of trouble. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I saw some quote. I don't know if it's a fake quote. Someone, someone said that Pep Guardiola said, yeah, that um. Something about if he's been lied to or something that he'll leave or something. It's but that's fake. Quite... It's not fake. He he said it back in um he said it back in uh, in May when when they were when all the, the the investigations. Do you remember when they were cleared from UEFA cleared them before right? or FIFA whoever it was? Um, Pep Guardiola said then if 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 you've lied to me, I'm off the next day. Um, oh, so. And listen, if they if they do get caught, let's see. Does he walk? Ooh. Then what happens? Who goes into City? What happens to what happens to the to, to players? Then want to want to leave? It's gonna be it's gonna be a massive soap opera, isn't it? Fuck, that's mad. But you know what it is with Pep? Yeah, it's like, and even with City, I don't. Even though I believe that they have broken. They might have broken certain laws. I don't think that they've broke. I feel like they haven't broken any rules. Do you know what I mean? I feel like them men have found, gone and found loopholes, yeah? Yeah. To do what they're doing. Just like Todd Bowie has found loopholes by giving yeah, people 50-year yeah. contracts. I feel like City have done stuff that might be immoral, yeah? But I feel like it might not actually be illegal. You know, like that. I feel like they're, they're going to get away with most of it. And I think, they'll, like you said, they'll only get sanctioned for maybe one or two things that they can yeah. make stick. Do you know what I mean? But I think a lot of these things, they're not going to be able to make stick. I think well, that, yeah, bending the rules, not breaking them. What, I, what I've what i looked into today and, and what someone who's a lot a lot more intelligent than I am sent me today, he said this, he said, all the, bro all the rules broken relate to the lack of information being provided by the club. They will just provide the information as soon as they legally have to. At the same time, their legal teams will be checking to see if they can get around the request as the time frame it relates to is now some time ago. So I don't think this is about doing as many things wrong as people think it is. I think mm. it's about that they haven't provided the documentation. There's no the proof time. that they haven't broken the rules is what right. they're saying. 
Yeah, that's why I think, again, like anything, like if if, if you remember, right, um, in, in the summer when Spurs, like it was announced that Spurs were um, going to have £150 million pounds being taken out of the club and what pumped into the club. And, and every Spurs fan lost their mind because they didn't actually read it properly. They just went, oh, my God, we've added £150 million to our transfer kitty. But if you start peeling the layers of the onion, you start realising, oh, hang on, it, it's not that. And that's what I think it is with City. I, mm. think, I think this is sensationalism. It's great. Every fan of every other club is like, oh, my God, City are going to get in trouble. They're going to get relegated. Um. You and I know, even if even if Man City rats get a 15-point deduction, right, like Juve did, they're still above Liverpool and Chelsea, right? <laughs> and, they'll still, <laughs> right and, and they'll still finish top four. You know it. If they got yeah. deducted 15 points now, went down to what Liverpool and Chelsea are on, they'd go on a 15-game run and they'd finish top four. You know it. Probably, so, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think everyone's just getting a little bit too happy at the thought of them being relegated and stuff, but I can't see it. They're too powerful, man. I can't see it. Nah, that is funny, bro. The oh. Juve had 20 charges against them and got deducted points. In comparison, City have 100 plus. But the thing is, City aren't sloppy like Juventus. Juventus are sloppy. They've yeah. been caught more than once. Do you know what I mean? They got previous. Man City, yeah, the last time they potentially could have had a transfer ban, they got their lawyers to bury the whole thing under paperwork, bruv. Like, they came, they turned up to court with, like, 10 lawyers or something. Like, if you honestly think that Man City aren't going to bury this for another 10 years, like, we're not finding out anything. At most, they might get a transfer ban and they might say you can't bring anyone in for X, Y, Z, but that's all that's going to happen. I don't even think they'll get deducted points. Yeah. It, well, what did well, Chelsea well, get a ban for? What did Chelsea get a transfer ban for before? Oh God, yeah. Was that was that when they had the transfer embargo? Um, yeah. Wasn't that, what was that with, for? wasn't that to do with the cat? Someone in the chat again. This is a beautiful thing about people in the chat. I'm pretty sure everyone. It was to do with um, the youth or the academy, right? It was something well, to do with how they were... loaning out like a million kids. They were buying them and kind of like money laundering with kids and that. <laughs> Somebody's there for trafficking kids. <laughs> 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 it's a football club. I said signing underage kids and that, bro. You from child trafficking Chelsea, bro? That's. Oh, <laughs> oh, we said we said Chelsea's amazing youth team for the last decade has been because of all the traffic. <laughs> yeah, bro, this is mad. Jesus Christ. Oh, so yeah, man, if sorry. Chelsea got a transfer ban from that, you could see City getting a ban. For this, yeah. they spent a lot of money, and obviously they're saying that they've lied as to where the finances have come from. So the the common sense thing is to ban them from spending any more money. 